guest, Guram Sherozia. Yeah. Yes, from Georgia, from our partner university in Tbilisi, it's European University. Uh, next year, you should have the opportunity to study also there. We start our cooperation last year, and it's spreading. Uh, Guram is a professor, trainer, entrepreneur for, with experience of over 10 years, but also he is an influencer, so you can follow him on Instagram mainly, I guess. Uh, yeah, everywhere. It's, uh, <laughs> okay, he will I tell you more details in, in, in a few minutes. Hope that you will enjoy the lecture. Of course, start to follow him on different social media uh, and hope you will enjoy it. Stage Thank is you. yours. Yeah, thanks a lot. Uh, hello, everyone, once again. Uh, I'll try to make this class as interactive as possible. So I want to ask you to participate actively. I will have some questions and uh, you will respond whatever because uh, as we meet first time, uh, it's not mandatory to have some correct answers. The most important and willing part is to interact you uh, as much as possible. Uh, so the class will be interactive, as I already mentioned, and we will exchange some details. Uh, and it won't be like theoretical only. I will share my personal experience and I believe that nowadays teaching something is not like bringing something from the books, uh, but there is more important to uh, highlight my personal experience, to show what I have done, and give some tips from career development and so on. So we're talking about personal branding, but before that I will give you some information about me, who I am, and why I decided to uh, bring this subject. So, who I am to teach someone how to brand themselves. Uh, am I face of this uh, subject in my case or not? So, uh, I strongly believe and recommend uh, that to represent the topic, to represent the thing where you are going to make someone sure. So, if you are talking about dentist or stomatologist, would, would you ever trust that they can uh, make your teeth good if they don't have good teeth or the fitness trainer who should have good body themselves. So in my case, how did I manage my personal branding? I'm teaching like uh, since 2012, almost 10 years. I used to be head of marketing department if, in several companies, then I founded my own one. Uh, I was also a TV presenter, although I'm not a journalist and it happened somehow and I will tell you how did I plan my uh, publicity, let's say, like this. And I'm a social media influencer, means that I'm getting money for promoting some companies. You probably, you know what, the, what that means. Uh, in Georgia it's becoming more and more actual and popular, so it's like that. So what is personal branding? Uh, there are two words connecting with each other, like personal and branding. Let's start association uh, about branding. So, uh, what branding means for you if you could explain with only one word? So, branding is, if you have some thoughts, any of you. Give me a sign if you want. <laughs> yeah, branding is? No, 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 one word. <laughs> Recognizable, great. Advertisement, okay. What else? So this side is more active. Now let's compensate and say something from this part. So branding is? Say again? Popularity, of course. OK, this side is the winner. Come on, say something. So blog, not blog, but branding is? OK, it should be creative. Uh, so one of the rules in personal branding and marketing is like be different. It's okay, I'm still, I still have to stand on this side, so I'm expecting from you. So branding is, any, any options? Just, just throw any word and I will try to put it, like to make it uh, correct <laughs> with an argument. So branding is, any other ideas? Okay. Uh, so branding uh, means promoting something, increasing awareness of something, making something interesting for our target audience. And personal branding is when I am doing marketing activities 
to improve my presence, to improve myself as a product. So we will talk now, so why do we need to sell myself? So uh, everyday life is a selling. You will meet a lot of people who you know that they are very smart, they are very educated, but they did not achieve anything. Uh, you also will meet some people who are also educated or less educated, but they achieved a lot. Means that uh, one thing is what do I have in my brain, in my head, and the second thing is how do I deliver all this stuff to those people whom I want to be attractive. Uh, so who can be my buyers, let's say. They can be employers, they can be my future customers, they can be the people whom I want to uh, look as more professional or something like this. So everyone who can make some decision, who is able to do some decision, in this case, they are my buyers, let's say like this. So I'm going to impress them. So there are several formulas I'll try to go through out. Uh, yeah, here we go. Yeah, it's about myself, just general information, and you can always reach if you have some further questions or some details about something. And now we are moving about the overview. We will talk about and discuss, thank you, uh, the role and types of communication. So communications is everything. So we built networking and communication with the people in order to develop our communication further. Uh, we have networking vs nepotism. So uh, why do we need a networking? For instance, imagine that I am HR manager or head of marketing department, and there are two candidates. So one is Anna, it's a very common name in Poland, so let's be Anna. And the second one is like Dominika. So one of them was my uh, ex, so they had exactly the same results. They have written some tests, then we had an interview, we evaluate them by some points, and in total, both of them got the same points. But I decided to choose Anna because she was my ex-student. I know how she's doing presentations, how workaholic she is, um, what uh, easy and nice way she has to deal with objections and some problems, and I decided to choose her. The other people will say that, oh, it's all nepotism, so he hired the lady he knew before, so it's not honest, it's not fair. Do you think it's okay or it's not okay that I made a decision because I knew someone earlier? Is it good or is it bad? How do you think? So, when you see from the side. So, they had exactly the same results, but I chose the first lady because I knew her earlier. So is it bad? So what do you think? In this situation? Yeah, yes, exactly. So if I choose someone because she's my relative, or if I choose someone because she's my neighbor, it will be nepotism, it will be very bad, and it will spoil the situation and motivation atmosphere in the company. But if someone is showing their professionalism on the way, they are showing that they are great, they can do something, it's networking, so you can always meet the people uh, on your career who were your classmates and remember that you are hardworking, or they were your neighbors, or they were your... Uh, someone like customers or you being their customers so in total the most important is how do we impress the people uh, what kind of impression do we leave on the people so the next thing is uh, what do we need to succeed there are uh, four characteristics and uh, imagine now the situation that I will highlight first so one two three and four I hope all of you see if not so I will then repeat uh, so, there are four things, four characteristics, four emotions or whatever, which you need to be successful in the certain position. Imagine that you want to succeed in marketing or sales. So, what do you need in order to build good career and be successful in the certain field? So, what do you think you need for that? I'll change the color of the marker, maybe red will be visible better. So. What do you need 
what the person needs in order to have some success in some positions or career. Uh, be creative, okay, what else? Okay, to be self-confident, what else? Straightforward, okay. Any others? So if you will not uh, initiate answers, I will choose randomly someone and you will have to answer anything. Even if you don't have answer, you still have to answer anything. So it works in marketing as well. So uh, if you can be adaptive in different situations and like you get a solution from the situation. Okay, what else do we need uh, if we want to be successful in marketing and sales? Just one word, any one word. Take risk, okay, it's an answer. Your turn. What else we need? Oh, you speak already. <laughs> you said with a good pronunciation, so I don't believe. Okay, what else we need? Okay, so your answer was a summary of everything. So to be confident, to be communicative, to be hardworking, to be uh, smart in some situations. All these cases are skills. So in order to be successful in marketing, you should have skills of marketing, to be creative, to be active, to love people and communicating. Otherwise, you will choose different position, right? So this thing are skills. But three more left. So what else? So all the cases you mentioned already, they are the skills of the person like personal skills. But what else do we need in order to be successful in a certain position? Second? A plan, okay. What else? Where the plans come from? You are on the right way, but it's not the exact answer, but we are on the right direction. So, where the plans come from? From ideas. Where the ideas come from? So, what else we need in order to be successful? How do you think? Of course, you should not know that by heart. Otherwise, you don't need this class and you know everything. So, that's why I'm asking and discussing that we are making mistakes, we are doing discussions, and finally, we are going to the right position. So, don't worry about mistakes or don't worry about uh, making some yeah, wrong answers. Okay? What do we need <laughs> to be successful? Yeah, I'm asking to you. Yes. Knowledge is the second thing. Knowledge of the uh, industry, you're going to be successful, right? So if you want to be successful in languages or if you want to uh, get a success in music or whatever, you should know that field. So, uh, of course, you can learn it later, but still it's about theoretical knowledge. Okay, two more left. And uh, I would say very important things left. Okay. <laughs> I will go and ask to, to you. So what else left? How do you think? In order to be successful, you have a skills and you have a knowledge of the topic, but it's not enough. You need something else. Yes, exactly. Answer with one question with no discussion. And we can write, this was experience, I lost my red marker. Yeah, experience is everything which comes by, uh, so my first class was okay, I was well prepared, but my 10th class which was better because I got some experience, I understood the body language, I understood the different situations. Uh, also, when you work in the sales, you understand customer better, you know the sales cycle uh, on a better way. So finally, you gain experience. And it's related to technical skills. For instance, normal skills are how do you communicate to the people, how positive and how positive vibes you have. But inexperience means that you know when to move to the final stage of agreement, or you know uh, by the person uh, what kind of preferences they may have, or how to find out this, those preferences. And uh, the last one, the last one is Let's summarize. Imagine that you are experienced, okay? You have a knowledge enough. Uh, you're skilled. You have enough skills for 
selling something good way, but you need something else to be active, to achieve your goals till the end, never stop, be happy. Say again. Exactly. Yes, that's the motivation. Of course, yeah, now this part went on a better way. Let's make internal competition in order to motivate you to be more active. So, motivation. That's what I'm trying you to be more active. So, motivation is, uh, has like two directions, like general motivation, which what we are getting by salary, by the field we love, by the colleagues, uh, by the development chances and perspectives, and we have also self-motivation. When everything goes wrong, when everything is bad, but I still believe that I need it for myself, I need it for my personal growth. I'm working on the very beginner position, which I dislike, but I know that if I keep it, if I will still be a very good person, I will achieve uh, a good goal, uh, all my goals, and everything will turn on a better way. So, now I have some questions. I will ask 10 of you, and you never know who will be those 10. Uh, you have to sort these answers by importance. So, if you say first experience and the last skills, it does not mean that skills are not important. It means that all of them are important, but any one of them comes first, and it's the beginning and the uh, most important, and then second important, third and fourth important. But remember that, which you mentioned fourth, it's not less important, it's important, but on the level four. Okay, so you should like make the numbering. Just tell me that experience, knowledge, skills, and motivation. Something like this. Your opinion, and then summarize uh, who was the closest to the reality. Okay, let's start from you. What's your sort? How do you think? What is first, second, third, and fourth? Motivation first, then? Knowledge and? Skills and experience. <laughs> the last one, I guess. Okay, thank you. So next one should be from here, the lady from the middle. Yes. Could you please? Yeah. Uh, out of these four, uh, please sort by the importance. So which one is the most important, the second one, third, and fourth? Yeah. Sorry? Yes. <laughs> Надо сортировать, какой из них более. So I can I can speak in Russian, but it's not common language for everyone. So yeah. Okay, you can answer <laughs> easier. Can you sort these four things? Okay. Oh, it was the same like a lady mentioned. Okay, this part you want to mention? Yes, please. Okay, it was different. Okay, yes, please. Okay, it was slightly different, but not much. Please. Yes. Okay, it was similar. Anyone has? No, 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 you can say. <laughs> you can say, you can sort by the list, so. What can be the most important out of them, and then less important, and so on. Where are you from? Where? Okay. Okay. So, uh, anyone else wants to share their opinions? Okay. 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 And the last one can be... Any of you? You can start. Okay. Okay, let's summarize. Uh, so the first one, many of you guessed correctly, and that's nice. It is motivation. So if you don't have motivation, if you don't love what you're doing, if you don't find yourself close by to this thing and you are doing something just for money or just for something, uh, uh, yeah, let me finish and I'll, I'll ask you for comments. Uh, then 
it will not be that hard, that productive, and so on. You may have some skills, but if you are not motivated to use these skills, if you are not happy when you start your job, it will be very difficult to uh, use the other three parts, and you wanted to say something. Yeah, yeah, it's, it makes sense. Your comment really makes sense. Just the thing is about, for example, you are the marketing person and you want really, and your main motivation is to do marketing for the universities. Uh, after you get huge motivation, you can learn university's internal system, what's going on inside, and you will learn very quickly. Uh, that's why you have to be at least motivated generally. So. Uh, putting knowledge on the last stage doesn't mean that you have zero knowledge. It means that you get more and more knowledge when you are very motivated, when you love, you're very interested, you see the perspectives and you want to develop yourself in this field. So the second one is uh, skills. Skills is very difficult to gain. So if you don't like people, if you are not communicative, it's difficult to start loving people, to start loving communication, to start smiling and so on. So skills are the second part who can be close to your motivation and your uh, career goals or your any goals. Uh, then about experience and knowledge, we have about different, different industries. If the industry is very technical, then knowledge comes first. If the uh, industry is a soft, if it's like insurance selling, bank credits and so on, then uh, experience can be first and then knowledge. So it depends on the industry, but first one is a motivation. When you are going to achieve some goals, when you are going to uh, fulfill some things, uh, then you will find the way how to achieve these goals. I will give my personal experience. So uh, I was 25 years, 24 years old, and uh, I found out that, yeah, I achieved everything I wanted. So I bought an apartment in the city center, I was teacher of the university, I was head of marketing department, and I was kind of stuck, so what else can I do in order to satisfy myself? Because uh, suddenly I achieved all my goals. And suddenly it happened that I was in the supermarket, uh, I was in the line, and suddenly someone came who was popular on TV, and this guy was not educated, nothing special, but suddenly uh, I felt from the employees that he was very important and please come without line and they pushed me back and I felt that's why people consider him as a more important customer and so on and the day I decided to become kind of famous in my country. So my mo main motivation was to become famous and to become well known somehow. Then I reviewed my skills. Uh, I sing and I play piano, but I'm not like Whitney Houston, so to achieve my goals by perfect singing. Uh, I write some poetries, but you cannot achieve the goals by poetries. And I found out something out of my skills to use it to gain the popularity. Finally, it appeared to be my personal blog. I started to write about hot topics, about everything like criticize, sometimes sarcasm and so on. And I started to send it to media agencies and magazines for free. I was asking them that you will get uh, marketing content, which will be popular because I know customer interests, I know what people are interested in. You will get these articles for free. The only thing you have to do is to mention my photography and to mention my name. That's how they started to get free content and that's how I get started free advertisement in some newspapers. And then slightly it was going for some TV, for radio guests and so on, and the popularity were increasing time by time. But the first start was uh, what do I want to do, what are my skills and what resources do I have? And then we were moving to experience, controlling the experience, getting more knowledge in this case, and finally we ended up with a uh, big riches, big awareness, and so on. So next we are moving to the uh, how to impress the people, because people are everything. Doesn't matter what kind of knowledge do I have, people are decision makers in our life. They hire us, they become our customers, they accept or reject something. So impressing the people in personal branding and marketing, it's a very important skill. Let me control the time, because... 
to be punctual. Uh, then next is, yeah, people respond to incentives. So uh, it's related to the motivation as well. So if you want me to do something, give me incentives, give me motivation, give me, let's say, fee. It should not always be, this fee should not always be like uh, financial, but at least you need something to perform the certain action, right? So uh, someone needs to be paid, someone <coughs> needs claps, someone needs to be shown to the bigger audience, and so on. So what we are going to do in order to this? <coughs> Sorry. The first one is networking vs. nepotism, when, when we had some examples. Uh, so, lie uh, and exaggeration. So, uh, is lie okay in the marketing? How do you think? When you're doing some marketing, so advertisement, you want to get new customers. And you can lie, you can say something, this product, which is not true. How do you think? Is it okay sometimes, or it's not okay, and why? Just raise your hand and I will give you the micro, okay? Oh, but I can hear, it's okay. Because it will take a long time, so you can just be louder, <laughs> yeah. And uh, for students, oh, okay, okay. Okay. <laughs> Well, I think that uh, lie in general is not okay because it influences your status and mm, influences yes. uh, what um, reputation, I meant. Yes. Okay. Yes, okay. reputation. Yes. What else? What else? Options about the opinions about this case? Okay. So I think, yeah, please, and then summarize. Even in, if in the beginning it will work, but after that, uh, as Ksenia said, it uh, ruins our reputation and customers yes. don't, uh, wouldn't trust them anymore. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's absolutely correct, and I liked your highlights that at the beginning it works. Of course it works, but we are not concentrated on one-time selling, right? We are concentrating on the repeated sales because the most important customer are those ones who bought already some product, and then they decided to get some repeated customers, repeated purchases. So in this case, lie is not allowed. The only thing which is allowed is to upgrade something. For instance, something is good. To say and express that it's very good, it's okay. Something is beautiful. To express emotionally that it's very beautiful, it's okay. But when something is salty and you are selling as a sweet, it's not allowed. So, uh, lie in marketing is forbidden, and we always say that uh, we should not use, we can just uh, increase a bit. Imagine that it's a Photoshop. A lot of people are using some filters on Instagram, right? Now, if uh, I am like, uh, uh, normal body and I put muscles by Photoshop, it's a lie. But if the background is green and I increase the bits this green and make more contrast, it's not a lie. It's just making something more visible. So that's what we are talking in marketing, that's what we call it uh, exaggeration. So improving something and showing on a better way. So psychology and marketing and sales work quite well. Uh, so how do we name the product? What kind of price do we mean? So one was, once it was an experiment about the wallpapers, the wallpapers for house renovation process. Then there were people who were invited and showing like two kinds of wallpapers. They were exactly the same. And uh, the presenter was explaining this. This one costs like one square meter, $1,000. This is from the very cheap factor. It costs, costs like $10. And when you touch it, you will feel the difference. It's very soft, it's very high quality, and this one is just a very simple. And people were touching and they were feeling difference because they were emotionally ready that I'm touching the high quality product and they were feeling that it's something special. And when they were touching the second one, they're feeling that, yeah, it's low quality. I feel it because it's, it's a rough a bit. But in reality, both of them were exactly the same. That's how psychology works in sales, and if you impress someone, we also have some games. Now we don't really have a time, but uh, we are doing some pranks. For, for instance, there are six students, and we are showing the lines, and one of them is a bit bigger than others. So first five students are agree with each other, and they say that this one is bigger. 
which is not bigger at all. But they try to affect on the six students, and they say that this is bigger. Then the other student says that, yeah, of course it's bigger. And the six students, which is who sees that it's not the bigger at all, uh, either their personality is very strong and they still keep and say that, no, you are all false and this one is longer line, uh, or they get affected by others' opinions and they say that, yeah, I agree with everyone. Uh, that's how social media works as well. If you have some new song, some new promotional activity, and you enter in social media and first five comments are hate, then the sixth person already is pushed to start something bad because they think that maybe I don't understand, but it's bad, and they are affected by the uh, mass uh, ideas and opinions. That's why we have to try the delete and not show and hide bad comments, leave the good ones, and then people get impressed from these comments and they are willing to write something good or not that hard. That's how people affect on each other, and we also should control this stuff in social media. Uh, okay, the formula of success we said, what kind of people do we like? It's also an interesting question. So we want to be liked by the people, right? In order to achieve our goals, in order to make them uh, do our performed and desired actions. So if you can express with a one word, what kind of people do other people like? With one word. Okay, any options? Raise your hands and we'll give you microphones. Microphones like according to the new rules. Uh, uh, I will, you can use maybe, or, yeah. Okay. Similar to them. Okay, one question. What else? One, one answer, sorry. You wanted to say something, right? Honest. Okay, for some people, uh, very honest people are boring. They say that in marketing it's not good to be honest always, so it's not smart and so on. Some people will protest this thing. What else? What kind of people do people Kind. Like? Say again? Kind. Kind. Okay, kind people can be nice for someone, but other people will say that in this life, if you are very kind, you are not smart, and some people may lie you or use your kindness on a bad way. We like people that like us. Uh, okay, but it's not one word, <laughs> but it's correct. <laughs> okay, with one word, yeah? Successful. Okay, uh, successful are the most hatred people in the world, <laughs> I can tell you. If someone is poor, if someone has problems, people, psychologists, that, oh, I will help you, and they feel themselves strong when they see that they are helping someone. When people are success successful, they have more hate. People think that, how did he, she achieve success or he achieved? Maybe they went on the wrong way, or maybe they were just showing off themselves and I don't want to see success stories because I get jealous or something. Some people may get angry because of your success. Once, one more and then let's summarize. With one word, what kind of people do we like? So, maybe new people who joined? One of you, yeah. Caring people. Okay, caring people, I like myself, but someone can say that I don't need that much care, like leave me alone, I want to be independent. So all the opposite things were coming from the people who are totally different, right? If you say that people like joyful people uh, or funny people, some people may say that why they are laughing all the time, they are not serious. Those people will say that who are boring and who are aggressive. So the first answer was correct. People like other people similar to them. So similarity doesn't mean that we should have the same hair color or same uh, academic achievements or so on. It's about energy. So when you communicate with someone and they express always positive vibes, you also should remain positive. When someone is very active in energy, you should not sleep and you should always uh, respond with an energetic way. If someone is very simple and friendly, you should also be friendly. When they see similar energies, your friendship, your collaboration goes easier, uh, you make your contacts easier, and then it becomes easy to move on your careerial growth and to achieve more goals which is related to those people. Uh, so next we have, yeah, about formula we already discussed. It was about 
our flip chart. Yeah, top 10 success factors. So what do we need? It's kind of formula or tips. How can we succeed? So the first one is listening skills. The most communicative people will like to communicate are not those ones who speak perfectly or who can communicate with the audience perfectly. They are good listeners. So on a parallel, talking with someone, you should be a good listener. Okay, now the question. Maybe I'm a good listener, so I'm multitasker. In my childhood, when I was dealing with my mathematic exercises, uh, the TV was always on, my mother's friends were always uh, in the house and noisy, and uh, from my early childhood, I, I became multitasker. I can sc scroll my phone, at the same time, listen and don't miss any word of you. But you'll feel that I don't care, I don't respect you, because I'm not listening, I'm in the phone. So, you have to show your listening skills, not only listen, but show them that you're really listening. How do you express and how do you show and highlight that you're listening to someone? What are you doing or what should you do in order to show the other party to, that you're listening? Uh, ask questions. Ask questions. It's expressing not only listening but interest. And when you're interested in something, it's respect. Great. Eye contact. Eye contact, of course. Also, it's very important. There are some more things. Anyone? Eye contact is very important. And to share your eyes as well. So it was happening in the like old schools when the teacher was choosing someone who was sitting in the front and looking always to them and no one else. So nowadays you have to share your attention to everyone. If you are speaking with five people, it's still happening that uh, one is the most important for you and you are watching to their eyes mostly and not paying attention. It's not professional, so you have to share your eye contact with everyone and ask questions, which is expression of your uh, interest. Something else was coming. Oh, yeah. We had already. Uh, what else? Exactly. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's the thing that I'm following you, and at the same time, I'm, I agree with you. So people love when someone is agree. Even if you want to protest something, if you want to say something against, you start with an agreement. So if you're saying something that this is expensive, I will not answer that. No, it's not. It means that you're totally wrong. I would say that I understand why you think so, but no, it's not expensive. It means that you are also right. You had your arguments that you are wrong. And I'm not blaming you. I'm not shaming you that you are right, that you are wrong. I'm highlighting that, yeah, I agree. So I understand why you think so, but it's not true. So it's your, you made a mistake but you had a right and it's not a shame. Okay, uh, and anything else? So we're shaking our head. And also it's kind of a smile. Smile does not mean that you are like laughing or something like this. Your face should express the positive vibes. And it's also some uh, location of your organs on your face. Uh, so how you look, how smiley is your face. Sometimes you probably met the people uh, when you never communicate and you think that they are aggressive, they are sarcastic, but after you start communication, oh no, they are so sweet. And opposite, someone looks very sweet, but after they open their mouth, they are not that positive, right? So it's about your expression of the face, and if you understand your face expression, uh, you will feel you need more smile to highlight your positive vibes, or it's still uh, like understandable, or so on. But to express your positive attitudes, it's important. And also one more hint. Uh, if you are afraid and you have first presentation among the big auditory and big uh, class, and you are afraid that someone may dislike, someone may not understand or something like this, choose three or four persons whom you are pretty sure that they like, they follow, and they support you. And when you feel uh, that you need a help, look at their eyes and they will like shake their head, they will smile, they will support and you will calm down. So if you think that somewhere there are your enemies who don't like anything and try to catch you up, don't look that side. So it means that you will calm down and choose your supporters, let's say like that. And uh, let's consider from the other side, if you want to be uh, considered as a supporter, so smile, ask further questions, uh, shake your head 
uh, like noodles and uh, try to uh, support the person who is sharing some information to you. Yeah, we go back. No. Yes, we are here. So follow-up skills. Follow-up skills means that we are not doing anything blindly. We succeed or we failed. So uh, fail does not exist in a marketing and success world. So when we are doing something, when we're taking some challenge, we have two chances. To win or to, to no. Losing is not existing. It's close by, but my favorite word is yes. No, fail, no. Fail is a bad word. A, a black PR? No. To win or to learn. <laughs> so fail doesn't exist. If you don't win, means that you will learn next time and you will do it better. So we have only two choices when we are dealing with the challenges. Either we win or we learn, and then we will win better way. So we don't fall down, we don't break down, and we continue always, and we follow up. If we don't win and we learn, uh, we can find out what was the reason, what could be done better way, and then we are dealing and moving on a better and more successful direction. Uh, ability to adapt depending on the situation. So when you don't have answer, but you don't want to show them that you don't have an answer, or uh, when you deal with a different situation and you find solution immediately. If you have experience of working in the sales, if you have experience working in the different fields, then you became adaptive. So you understand how to go out from the certain situation, how to hide the things you want to hide. So uh, the next one is like task-oriented. So never break down, and sometimes five fails means five learnings uh, are leading you to the biggest success. So in sales and marketing and selling ourselves, it works as well. Organizational skills, how to organize different tasks. Uh, verbal communication skills, verbal and nonverbal. How do we use our hands? How do we express our knowledge? How do we uh, try to make something stronger? The first thing is like uh, you are just standing and uh, speaking about something. And the second thing is how do you highlight that three things are important in the whole world. Or three things are important in the whole world. So uh, how do we uh, make the emotion stronger? So presentation can help, your hands can help, uh, your face and expression can help a lot. So how do you express the energy? And then we will move to some certain topics. How do we make something more impressive. Uh, professionals mean dealing with the people in all levels of organization. So don't think that only your boss is uh, the person with whom you should be professional. No, everyone, like people standing in the line with you, a uh, supermarket seller who can become the director of the company and hire you later, your students, my ex-students many times became my business partners later when they succeed in their careers, and so on. Uh, so, purpose and how I am goal-oriented and straightforward, uh, communication skills, personal planning skills, and also how, we, how do we end the situations. So, after breakup, how do we deal? Uh, we had such kind of thing. In 2008, we had a war. Uh, you were very little at the time and very young, probably you don't remember, Georgia-Russian war. So I was like even 18 or something years old, I was very young, and I used to work in the bank. I was credit specialist out of uh, four others, like we were four credit specialists, we were giving the loans. So, and when the war started, banks stopped to give the loans, so suddenly we uh, started to lose our jobs. It was very disappointed because I was like a student, I was very happy that in my 18 I'm holding a very good position, I'm gathering the money and doing saving, and suddenly like banks started to reduce the uh, employees. The first happened that they hired, they fired my colleague. 
This was a girl, like five years older than me, and she started to be very nervous. She said that, oh, you fired me, you are horrible, you are not, uh, it's not fair, and so on, and she ran away. Uh, after one week, my other friend was fired. Uh, she did not say anything, but her mother called to the director. She said that my daughter is very disappointed. You are a very bad guy. You should not do it. But he could not do anything because it was a problem general. And the third one, it was already my time uh, when I was fired. They said that, oh, you are working quite well and we like you, but we don't have loans anymore and we don't need loan experts anymore. And they were expecting from me the same because all of them who left the jobs before, they were like a crazy. And what I was doing, I became even better worker. I did everything. I bring the cake on my last day. I said that it was so nice meeting you guys. Don't worry about it. it's a situation. I'll find my other job. I'm, I'm hardworking. And everything, everyone was so like uh, surprised because uh, I was the only one whom they hired from the other bank. I had good career in their competitor bank. Then they took me and then they asked me to leave the job after two months. I could start shouting that you took me from other bank, I had a good career and now you are like... But I knew the situation. What happened? After three months, bank started to go back to the normal reality very quickly. And after three or four months, they started to get the fired employees back. Whom you think? they called first. <laughs> of course, it was me who had a happy end, and uh, uh, rather than many problems, I quitted my job on a nice way. They even promoted me. I became head of the group, then head of the department, then head of the like, bigger department, and everything went well. Why? Because when you finish something, during the sales process, your career, your marriage even, so whatever you finish, you have to be respectful because you never know uh, when you meet again and you never know how they will decide your fortune later. So stay positive and stay professional in all situations. That's what career uh, response and career advice is. Um, try to yeah, give us it as an advice. Okay, now I have to go back. So effective presentation. If we want to make our presentation effective, let me control the time. Yeah, uh, we shall consider several points. The first one is offer, generally. So we start with an executive summary. For instance, I came here to present you personal branding in order to improve yourself to become a more interesting package as a candidate, to find better job, to plan your career and success. So, executive summary, what I'm going to share with you. The second one is result analysis. So you should answer the question, what will I get after buying this product? What will I get after you hire me as a head of marketing department? The third one is proof, explanation. The one thing what I'm telling to you, but maybe it's a bullshit, maybe it's not correct, maybe I'm trying to uh, bring some not uh, correct information. So I have to prove and explain. How can I? For instance, I'm coming at your office, I'm saying that I'm very creative, I can build great marketing reputation for your company. How do I prove that? How do I make you sure? Um, show previous cases. Okay, give an examples and show previous cases, okay. Any other? This part became passive, wake up. So what else? How do you prove that you can do something? Okay, let's consider it. That's both parts, one, one and one. Okay, what else? Rather than examples, what can you show again? What, what, how can you make them sure? Say again? Uh, come with concrete ideas, okay. It's related to examples, but a bit different, okay. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I understand. Yeah. To be concrete. Don't say that, oh, your brand have a big chances. Just tell me what kind of chances. Not very concrete because they may, like, uh, steal your <laughs> and take them. But, like, generally show that you're creative. Prove that. Okay, let's move to the answers if you don't have any more. So the first one is effects. The facts what you have done. 
So you increase the company awareness by 22%, or you did like five marketing activities during one and a half month. So statistics and examples. Uh, also quotes and proverbs play a good role. Some jokes or some quotes or uh, saying something that, for instance, I don't consider loses, uh, either I win or I learn something. It's like a quote and it expresses your opinions, your uh, like understanding of some cases and situations. Now, next we have how it works. If it's some product, some TV, we have to turn it on. If it's a clothes, to take you in the fitting room and show how it works on your body and how beautiful you look if you wear this brand. Or if it's telephone, like a cell phone, make the uh, perfect picture by this phone and show you that uh, you as a blogger, you as a traveler will, will gain and you'll have much more like, better contents in social medias. And the last one is let me try and I will remember. Try to make the customer participate in the process. So if you're selling the car, make them to drive this car and feel how it feels to be owner of this car. If it's the clothes, make them wear and check it. If it's the uh, if you are in the job interview, uh, let discuss, like give your ideas, but ask for their inputs and their further ideas, and then agree on one point and so on. Uh, let's move. Okay, it's interesting part. So responsibilities uh, of our like uh, brain hemispheres. So there are two directions. The first one is like rights one. Uh, which is responsible on the economic things. So we are more pragmatic in this way. So we care about the price, safety, life cycle, uh, like trading and to get the best technical solution. The second one is emotional, the left side. So it's like about comfort, prestige, pleasure, if you're planning the travel. So these people will ask the agency and take transfer, hotel, insurance from one company, they pay more. These people will book flights by themselves, will make insurance, will double check where it's better and cheaper to go, will make a lot of things. So these people are more spenders. Uh, if we divide them as a bank customers, they are more loan users because they always need more money for extra happiness and extra comfort. And the other people are, uh, are deposit owners. They always save the money and they never spend and they have some pragmatic solutions. There is one exercise, how can we deal with it? Uh, so we have to put our hands within each other. I have to put the microphone and you just follow what I will do. Mostly 
Hong Kong life oriented pleasure. They don't often check oh sorry. They don't often check for reminding they don't often check the prices. Of course in the current situation it may be different. For instance, if I'm a student, if I'm not earning much, I have to be on this side. But after you get more than enough money, some of us still stay economy people and still check the prices however they have the money, and the other ones, they stay like uh, pleasure-oriented. Of course, it's not 100% sure. There are like 17% mistake probability, but as the researchers told, told, tell us, it works like this. Okay, uh, let's move. Uh, so, goals. Uh, if you don't have goals, we cannot, we can achieve nothing. <laughs> so, goals should have two characteristics. Uh, tell me your goals and I will tell you if it's dream or goal. Uh, now, it's easy question, very easy. So, let's ask to those people who are more quiet. Uh, tell me your goals, please. Give me the microphone, I can, yeah. Tell me your goals with one or two words. Can I? Both of you. Okay. You were active, so but okay. My goal, but I think it's more dream, is to move to Norway and live there. Okay. It's half goal, half dream, and I will tell you why. Tell me yours. Okay, so my goal is to be a skipper on a yacht. Uh, again? It's to be a skipper on a yacht. Okay, next. Mister, tell me your goal, just simple question. Ah, Russian language, what's your goal? Money. Money, Money. great Money. goal. Okay, but it's a dream, and I will tell you why. Uh, one more else, and I will tell you what was missing uh, to be goal. Uh, tell me yours. What's your goal? <laughs> so, such a celebrity. Uh, my goal is uh, to finish uh, what I have started. Okay. Oh, whatever you start or university? Just whatever you start. What I have start. Okay. Yeah. Not university. Just Every, whatever, yeah. Whatever, Including yes. university. Yeah, okay. Whatever. So, uh, goal needs two characteristics. One, it has to be measurable. So, someone, the uh, like Mr. who is sitting in the back rows, he said money. Money is not a goal. If you say that I need uh, one million, yes, it can be called. But money is one dollar, money is one thousand dollar, money is ten thousand dollar. So uh, I want to be happy. It's not goal, it's a dream. If you specify what makes me happy. So if my happiness is marriage and three children, yeah, I have measure. Do I have a wife? Yes or no. Do I have three children? Yes or no. Yes, then it can be gold. And the second one, it should have a deadline. Otherwise, it looks like I'm quitting smoking next Monday. And this next Monday comes next, 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 five years, and we are still smoking. So uh, the goals should have two uh, main characteristics. The first one, uh, it has to be measured. So lady mentioned that she wants to continue in Norway. You can measure, but you were missing the time. So if you say that it's my one-year target, so I have to move to Norway until the end of 2024. Then I already have my strategy, I have my tactical plans, what should I do every month in order to go closer, like learn Norwegian language, uh, participate in exchange programs, uh, like look for the like, academic uh, chances and uh, offers, and so on. So after we figure out and set our goals, then we already find the way how to go closer to these goals. So if my goal is this door, either I can come this way or that way, uh, or jump from the window, or open the door, or break the door, so whatever can be our goals, then we find the way how to go easier to those goals. Uh, how do we impress during the presentation? So when we have a presentation and one thing is, what is my presentation? And the second one is, how do I present? So, uh, the first one is enthusiasm. Uh, it sh people should feel that you like what you're doing. 
So you are not lazy, but you get pleasure from the things you are doing. So enthusiasm is always understandable. So whenever you are doing something, show them, the other parties, that you get pleasure and you love your job and you enjoy what you are doing. The second one is an energy. Energy and vibes are always shareable to the other people. If you are energetic, the other people also feel energy. If you are sleeping, everyone will sleep. So you have to express and share your energy. Uh, visual contact, we already mentioned that everyone needs your attention, so please share that attention. Uh, confidence, how confidence comes. The first one is to make and to believe yourself that you are doing the right things, you are doing well. Uh, if you don't trust enough, make a video recording what you are doing and look and watch yourself from the side. You'll find out a lot of bad things, a lot of things you have to improve. And after you improve, after you are pretty sure that it's very good, uh, your confidence is understandable for everyone. Uh, and beautiful talk. Beautiful talk means that give many examples, have sometimes jokes, your practical experience, uh, how it works, some uh, different types of visuals like texts, uh, pictures, uh, intonation, regulations, and so on. Make it as diverse as possible in order not to make someone tired. Especially that's, uh, uh, for instance, we are, if you're talking about classes and presentations, so one and a half hour, it's not small. <laughs> in our university, it's like 45 minutes and sometimes it's still long. So during one and a half hour, to keep you motivated and energetic means that you need a lot of things to organize. Now I see that none of you are sleeping, <laughs> all of you are active, at least waiting for your turn to answering the question or trying to avoid the question, but you cannot avoid, I will ask anyways. So the thing is uh, how you are involving and participating in the following processes. Guide words how to win the hearts of the other persons. The first one is understanding and uh, consent. So show them that you understand, that you agree, that you are on the same line. When someone is saying truth, say that, yeah, you're right, I feel the same. I totally agree with you. Uh, of course you're right. So people love when they are right and when you highlight that they are right. Of course don't lie. So if they are right, highlight and show them. Uh, joy. I'm glad, it was very good. It's a big pleasure communicate or working with you. It's very comfortable that you are as workaholic as I am, so we match it in this case. So express your compliments and joy. Also sympathy and respect. Show the people that you respect, so don't interrupt them. Uh, remember what they're saying. Ask uh, interested and motivated questions and so on. So after you win, somebody's people are subjective. So people express different way in different situations. If people like you, they will accept you quite faster and you will reduce your uh, operational process. You will finish and get agreements uh, much more quicker than it has to be when someone is neutral or don't like you at all. Okay, we're going to the end. First one is listen and express not only in real life, but in social media. Why it's important to answer the messages? Because the first one, you show your interest and that you care. The second one, the algorithm works like this. Uh, as active is your post, uh, as more it's visible in other people's fields and feeds. So if you answer extra question to someone who is commenting, they also will answer that someone else will join, your post is staying on the top. On TikTok as well, uh, how many of you are uh, uploading videos, like are TikTokers, active TikTokers, I don't know, it's Polish situations, raise your hands, those ones who is uploading videos once in a week. None of you? Okay. <laughs> how many of you are Instagrammers uploading picture once in a week on Instagram? Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, the same question about Facebook, the same question about LinkedIn. Okay, so you don't like social media, <laughs> but, but 
uh, if you are in the marketing field, in sales field, in public relations fields, you definitely need your social media. And of course, as more active and more engaging your social media will be, you have even more chances to be visible, to increase your awareness as a brand, because we're talking about personal branding. So the second one is respond to good and bad, and create your own voice. The main thing is personal branding is to be different. How can you be different and how can you highlight? Be different is depending on the surrounding, on the competitive market. If, if everyone is very quiet, you should be loud and active. If everyone is very active, you should be opposite, very calm. So uh, being different makes you more memorable and increases your awareness. Okay. So self-evaluation, uh, when we move to the final stage of the personal branding, the first one, uh, what's my main strengths? If I ask very quickly to you, do you understand what's your main strengths? So can you answer without thinking? Okay, what's your main strengths? What do you like most in yourself? You don't have answers, means that you did not think about that maybe, but think now then. What? Oh, everything, but what more? What do you like more in yourself? What do you think that makes you different from the people? For instance, in my case, uh, I'm hardworking. I like this very much because I never stop, I never sleep. I do a lot of things, and when something is not happening, the next thing can happen. So, uh, or I love communication. I have a lot of people around. I know many people. But I can say that I love everything in me. So good that you're confident. But could you highlight something more, a bit more? Something you like in yourself more? OK, you can think. I'll go back to you. Uh, what you like more, most? What's your main strengths, you think? OK, don't be shy, guys. It's OK. So you, sh you have to love yourself. Say again? You are goal-oriented and you like... You, are you also a Russian speaker? Something like this. OK. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, like goal-oriented, let's say like this. OK, guys, you can express, any of you. What's your main strengths? Would you like most in yourself? Mm, I'm hardworking too, and I like achieve my own goals. OK, great. What's about you? Come on, you cannot say that you don't like. You, you have to like something, I mean, something more. OK, so uh, the result is that uh, people are not pretty sure what their main strengths. Uh, if you're having some job interviews, this question can be very active and very popular. Tell me your uh, strengths and weaknesses. Also, if you know yourself, if you know your uh, feelings, what makes you happy, what like you more, you can find out the fields where you can succeed, where you can be stronger. Then comes your self-confidence. Then your self-confidence is visible for other people and they trust that, yeah, you can do this. You, are, uh, you can deal with these objections and so on. So it's important to know yourself well, external and internal. But be very realistic as well, because some people love themselves. I have a friend who is always right. If you say something to him that, no, it's not like this, he's starting shouting at, no, how can you dare, it's not, I'm always right. It means that you cannot develop yourself, so no one is always right. We make mistakes, and it's good that we make mistakes because we learn at all. The most important to understand our mistake and to, to agree that it is a mistake, I have to uh, improve this situation. Uh, so, and what makes me stressed? Also think about what are the situations are most stressful to you and for you. And then you can uh, easily understand how can you avoid these stress situations. Uh, okay, it's not question because uh, as you did not answer, uh, many of you, the uh, strengths, weaknesses will be harder question, or maybe not, but yeah, depends. Uh, yeah, be different. So which one you see here? You see, of course, the brown one. 
although the purple is more beautiful, in this case, uh, brown color is different, so we see it first. Be creative, so build your own voice, have your own sentences or words which is associated to you or some highlights which makes you remember by the people and uh, then your brand awareness will go easier and faster. I think we are almost done. Yes, we are definitely done. We are very punctual because we exactly finished when our time finished. And I just wanted you to ask some further questions, if you have any, because from my side I'm done. Uh, thanks a lot for your active participation. Some of you willing to participate. Some of, some of you were forced by me, but you still responded quite well. So I think uh, the audience was interesting. And thanks again. Uh, and now we can move to the questions and answers. Uh, not to make it too long, let's leave this last 10 minutes for five questions. And if you have these questions, after five questions, we can close our meeting. Okay, any questions regarding to all those topics we discussed? Yes, please. I'll drink the water. How you starts, uh, start your uh, blog on Instagram of different uh, social media? It's hard or easy for you? Yeah, it's a good question. <laughs> so uh, it started in 2015 uh, when blog was not that popular in Georgia. And uh, I was playing. I mean, I was writing about everything, like travel blogs, uh, like educational blogs like some sarcastic blogs about old-fashioned Georgian traditions. <laughs> I will not highlight now and bring this, but I was like making a jokes or something. And then I was checking what was the most popular. And suddenly they were not interested in travel, they were not interested in education, but they liked when I was criticizing someone. And then I understood that, yeah, it works well, and I mostly concentrate on, on this direction. So it became more and more popular, then TV started to invite me, then suddenly I became TV presenter, and everything was happening step by step. But first two months, I had very low reaches, and I could say that, yeah, it does not work and I will stop, but the thing that I did not stop uh, delivered me to the very good direction. Now my songs have like five or six million views, and Georgian population is three million, so uh, I think that the result now is quite good. But the way was not that easy in many cases. Okay, next question. Uh, like having less questions means that uh, you understood everything or nothing but everything in this case. Have you ever felt shy when you were like studying? When I when? Uh, I mean, uh, when I started, st yes. Uh, blogging? Yes, yes. Yes, of course, of course. And I was on the border to leave everything and delete all my social media. You know, when you are becoming popular, a lot of people are around you. A lot of people are write comments, right? Uh, before that, I used to communicate with only educated people, like my students, my co-workers, people under my supervising. So I was choosing the people. Suddenly I became TV person and popular on TV and suddenly I'm seeing like very uh, crazy comments, very bad words addressing to me that we hate you, that like I cannot express all those words. And it was non-familiar for me and my parents were reading this so when you are popular you have a lot of support but you have a lot of hate as well. Especially when you are not like everyday guy and you're criticizing someone, someone is getting angry, something. Yeah, it was very hard uh, because uh, rather from my academic development, like being popular person is totally different. And finally, after two years, I could manage to collaborate all my directions together. But at the beginning, when I moved from this academic direction to this crazy direction, it was really uh, hard. Yeah. And I regret it in some cases, but, and yeah, and that day when I decided to close all my social media and I don't want it anymore because my mother and grandmother are sad because some aggressive people are writing negative comments, I got first call 
there was a company and they said that we see that you have very active social media and we will pay like $300 if you will share your, our uh, advertisement in your story. And I was so happy because my first salary monthly, I was working from like 8 to 5, was $100 monthly. And this like three, three times more, three times $300 I could earn like by sharing something in five minutes. I said, okay, I will stay longer. <laughs> then I got more and more advertisements, and finally now I don't have that hate anymore. Because when you are entering somewhere, when you are unknown, people are aggressive. Who is this guy? Why he is trying to tell us something? But after two or three years, they got familiar that I'm existing, I'm active. They started to love me more, and also more and more advertisements. Of course, now the prices of the story and posts more expensive than $300. So nowadays, everything is good. Uh, OK, next question. There are a few questions, but very interesting. So. Uh, actually, I have a question. Yes, please. Uh, do you feel safety after you become popular in your country? Uh, yes, yes. It depends on the country, probably. Because uh, people are sometimes crazy in social media. Someone can write that, oh, I will kill you if I know you, or something. Not now happening, but it happened. But in real life, uh, never and nothing bad happened. So those people who are very strong in social media, they are not that strong in real life. So uh, I was always, I have a daughter who is like five years old and like people and when we are outside, it's, it's, it's super safe for everyone. Uh, the only thing you should not touch, it's like religious things, then you can really get trouble. But if you're just a popular and sometimes someone likes, someone dislikes, uh, out of this like seven or eight years, nothing bad happened. So yeah, it's totally safe. Can you maybe name uh, three things which, may, which like, make you stressed in your work? Uh, yes. The first one is that I get bored easily. <laughs> That's my main weakness. So I lose interest. After I achieve something, I lose interest. I need some other challenges to achieve, and I'm fighting with this. Oh, okay, I'm working at the same university five, seven years, but uh, it's not related to this because I have always new students. Subjects are getting new, and I'm not getting bored. But so when I'm head of marketing department, I used to change my job once in a year, and it's very bad for your CV at the beginning. So I'm fighting with this. It makes me stress. The second thing is um, uh, some people has, have very low sense of responsibility. For instance, someone is very late always and uh, you lose your time because of their sense of responsibility. It makes me stressed and angry. And the third thing is that uh, time pressure. I think that all of us can do much more if we had more time more hours, uh, like not 24 or like 55, <laughs> so on. That's why it also stresses me, because I think that we have more possibilities, more chances, just we don't have enough time. That's it. OK, last question. Yes, please. Oh, OK, you can ask, and uh, it can be last. Six. <laughs> Remember, uh, don't forget. <laughs> I have a question about developing your account on social media because I've heard that there are two schools of doing it and one is uh, focusing on one subject and being an expert in one area and the other one is uh, to touch almost everything and yes. become an expert of everything and yes. what is better in your opinion? That's my strategy, uh, the second one. <laughs> so uh, while you don't find your final destination, you have to try everything. And then in social media, we call it A-B testing or multi-testing. So you are doing everything, but where you feel comfortable. You should not force yourself. So today I have to post because it's mandatory. No, uh, post what makes you attracted, what you really love and uh, you really like, but do different directions and then the uh, reactions will show you that, yeah, this works well, so I should concentrate on this. But diversity is my even job strategy as well. So I have my tourism agency, I'm working as a social media influencer, I'm working in marketing and teaching. Means that I never get tired. When I get tired from teaching, I'm moving to my ideas of marketing. When I'm getting tired, I'm uh, starting traveling with the groups. So uh, if you are not stable and if you need many refresh, 
try to do many things and you become more productive and you see more ways and more uh, perspectives. That's why at the beginning I would recommend do many things, but all of them should be the things which you really love and really enjoy because the reader and follower always feels you are fake or you are expressing your natural emotions. And last question. What do you do to stay confident after negative comments? Uh, good idea. Uh, the first one is I'm checking who is uh, writing the negative comments and when I see that, oh, okay, <laughs> it's okay because uh, normal people, uh, successful and happy people never write uh, very trashy and bad comments. So if someone criticizes you, that's fine. I can tell you that, no, you're not right, you should do it like this, or people get upset because you write this. It's feedback, it's criticized. But if I write that I hate you, it's so horrible, means that the only idea of them is to make a trouble because they are in a trouble and they want you to make the same. That's why I understood that normal people express normally. If someone is a very negative and very low quality comment, means that their idea is not respected for me, so it's nothing. That's why I understand. And also, I learned one more point. When you have a lot of people, a lot of haters for nothing, means that they are just jealous for something because you are doing everything correct and they could not do that. That's why sometimes the negative uh, feelings, but I will repeat that I have very less negative right now, last several years. But still, if some people don't like you for no reasons, means that they wanted to be like you, they could not, that's why it becomes an aggression. So it even increases your self-confidence. Okay, it was very nice to meet you guys. Uh, thanks, for, <laughs> thanks for attending and actively participating. I hope uh, you will remember and use uh, any or some of those uh, uh, advices and wish you a good luck in your career and other successes. Thanks a lot. Thank you.